I think when we recruit, I mean, matter of fact, I know when we recruit, we talk about, you know, being a family and, you know, it's not always perfect. You know, it's not, we don't always talk about being a perfect family because I don't know of any family that is perfect. You know, it's just always uh, some struggles, you know, but I think we're a family that stick together when we have struggles, you know. You never really prepare yourself for it. You know, was blessed. Uh, I had just came off of an injury. You know, I, I was I had a, a really good freshman year, and in uh, in October we were right before we moved into the uh, around the Cox Building or the other facility. We were running track directly behind here in McNasty Stadium, and I had an accident where it was kind of our fault. Uh, uh, missed a pit and smashed the bone. And, bones in my knee and so I had to sit out a year and uh, when I did sit out that year uh, it was difficult and uh, uh, then found out that we had uh, you know my wife my girlfriend was pregnant and, and uh, probably the best thing that ever happened to me you know because uh, you know just at that time of your life you know you're running and gunning you don't take time to realize that uh, the importance of people around you and you know it's, it's like you feel you're invincible and the injury kind of helped me with that. And then, you know, th the situation helped me grow up. Then we had this, I mean, God sent us one of the best uh, young women that you could ever, uh, young girls that we could ever, in Ashley, our oldest daughter. She's a, she's a special lady to see that, you know, and to experience that, that was pretty big for me. One day, I, maybe after like summer workouts, I was like, you know, something don't feel right. And I, I took a pregnancy test and then I passed. I was like, oh no, this can't be, this can't be possible. And so I took another one. I think I took like three actually. And so I was like, oh geez, like what am I gonna do? And so I was like a lot of things in my mind. I was like, uh, you know, like, what am I gonna do? I don't, I don't know what to do. Talked to my parents, everything. I was scared to tell Coach Broadhead and them. So I played. I was about three months. Kept playing, kept practicing. Four months, kept playing, kept practicing. But it was like I wasn't showing. You know, I, I had a little bump, but she couldn't tell. So finally, at like five months, I was like, I just gotta tell them. So I went in the office, it was Coach Broadhead, Coach Sally, and I was like, um, Something's wrong, you know? And they were like, well, what's wrong? I was like, well, I might be, you know, like pregnant. It was definitely uh, looking in the mirror and the thing that's blessed, blessing about that, Brooklyn played in our AAU program with my wife and my daughter was her high school coach. That Brooklyn won two, two state championships and they were with my daughter as a head coach. So it's kind of like, and so when it happened, it was, it kind of happened funny because I think I was one of the first ones she told. I actually went to a, a scrimmage and she didn't, she, to me she wasn't herself. And I made her stay after when we got back from Northwestern State on the bus. I made her come up into the office and say, what's going on? And uh, you know, it was just different scenarios and I kind of figured it out like, well, it's this happening. And, and so I was told and you know, it was like, uh, it was, it was like, it hit me, man, this is, this is, that her boyfriend was me and she was my wife. So I went to the doctor and the doctor was like, yeah, you're like five months. And I was like, okay. <laughs> like I, in my head, I kind of knew, but I was like, oh. So I started crying, I'm like, well now they know. So like, like what's next, what am I gonna do? What is everybody gonna think of me? Cause I'm supposed to be like a star player, you know, the community knows me and they don't know me to have a baby. They just know me to play basketball. Brooklyn was worried about her future and my wife did great in telling the story you know hey, this is what happened and look who turned out Ashley you know your coach and I think it was a big impact on their decision on on which direction they want to go and I'm gonna tell you what since I've been at UL that's probably she's her kid has probably been the biggest win that we've had as a staff there's no doubt in my mind you know we won some games I'm all-time leading uh, you know, I have all, most wins in the history of this program, but the biggest win that I've been here is Brooklyn's little girl. I'm good and I'm pregnant.
take it up and in. As Kimberly Burton, the defensive specialist, finds a way to score. I have, I have a boyfriend currently. After the conference tournament, I was like, okay, something's going on. You know, I missed the time of the month. And I'm like, okay, like, no, I'm not pregnant. Like, no, <laughs> I kept denying it. And then I was just like, something is wrong. And I kept telling him that. And he was like, well, go take a test then. And then one day, it was, I want to say March the 30th. And I said, Cameron, I said, I'm, I'm pregnant. And he was like, what? And I was like, yes. And I was like, no, no, no. Like, I'm scared. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I said, I'm afraid I'm going to lose my scholarship. And I kept it from my mom. I kept it from my dad for like a whole week. <laughs> and then it finally came out to them. And surprisingly, my dad wasn't, he was, he was more disappointed, but he wasn't like, you know, jumping down my throat. My mom is, was my mom. She was, you know, jumping down my throat as, you know, expected or whatever. And I was kind of like torn up. I was like, man, like I worked so hard for this scholarship. That was my only focus was my scholarship. And I was like, okay, like what, what's, what now? Like I got to tell the coaches. I was scared to tell Coach Deacon. He was the I was worried about him the most more than anybody else. Like, okay, what is Coach Deacon gonna say? You know, is he gonna like cuss me out? You know, like you know, abandon me, neglect me? And surprisingly, when I told him, he was more calm than anything. You know, he was very supportive of it, and because it happened, it happened in the past, and so he was kind of like, you know, you're gonna be okay. You know, we got you. Anything you need, we're here for you. After I told Coach Deacon. He told Coach Brahead. And so Coach Brahead already knew before I came in. And so when I told, uh, when I talked to him, he was like, you know, you're gonna be okay. You know, just gonna sit out and get your year back. And, you know, so I'm not worried or anything. You know, I'm not mad at you. He was like, you're gonna be okay. I didn't know like during the summer and everything when it first happened. But when I came on, it was like, we got another Brooklyn. Well, actually, Coach Deacon, we were talking about who was playing, and they was like, well, we don't have this person. And they said, we don't have Kim. And I was like, wait, what's wrong with Kim? And I was like, she's another you. And I was like, wait, she has a baby? I was like, man, this is me again. But I, I wish I would have had, you know, somebody that I can go to and be like, what, what's it like, you know? Um, none, at the time, none of our coaching staff had were mothers, like the females. They weren't mothers, so I couldn't go to them and be like, what did you do for your pregnancy? Did you go natural or did you have a C-section and things like that? I ask her a lot of questions <laughs> when it comes to dealing with pregnancy. I'm like, you know, like, what did you do? You know, how did they take it? And I'm just like, well, you know, it's gonna be hard times. Don't expect it to be all flowers the whole journey, but you know, you definitely have somebody to play for now. You have something to to prove, you know, that you're a mother, you're a student athlete, you know, that's two things that you have to work on. And I was like, just expect the best, you know, the feeling, you know, it's gonna be a different feeling because now you'll actually love something more than you love basketball. Nobody looked at, looks at me different. And I think I, I like that, you know, nobody was like, oh, you're pregnant, you know, we can't, you know, deal with you or anything like that. Everybody kind of, He's like, you know, comes to me with open arms. Like, how are you? Like, how you been feeling? Like, you ready? You know, like you don't have that much longer to go. <laughs> and, and I'm just like, cause now I have more responsibility. It's not just about me anymore. You know, I'm bringing another human into the world. So now I have to, you know, this is my last month being responsible for myself. Pregnancy is by far like the hardest thing <laughs> to go through as a woman, even though you know you'll face different type of struggles, but that was that was pretty tough. This was the most stressful semester I've ever had in my life. And so I think that it kind of tested me at times, tested my patience with balancing, you know, basketball and him, now that I'm back, you know, and it was actually a good journey. The advice I received from Coach Briarhead in Brooklyn, it was really, really good because they support me, you know, through everything that I, you know, been going through. Like if I can't go to waste because I have to stay home with him, like they understand that if I can't go to practice because of him, they understand that, you know, because 
being a mother, that comes first before anything. And I feel like that's the beauty of the whole situation by them being understanding and being supportive. From the housing department, definitely have to thank them for all that they, they do, you know, with Cajun Village for Kim and um, the things they did for me. You know, Coach Bryant and them welcoming, welcoming like our kids, you know, with open arms and making them a part of the baby club, I guess. The team, they kind of treat him like that's their child. And like when I bang on the practice before the game or anything, they all swarm to him and go straight to him. And I don't have to, it's like he's he not there, like he's gone. It's a big relief seeing how supportive everybody's been because I didn't expect it. I mean, I expected it, but not this much, you know, and I feel like that kind of helped me along the way. She's going to be a great mom, you know, just the, the, uh, the love that she brings to our team. She's like our, you know, it's funny how Brooklyn was like our team mom, even before she got pregnant. Everybody kind of leaned on her when we needed something. And that's how Kim is, you know, even before this happened, even as a freshman, you could see the leadership quality she had in the right way too. You know, there's so many different ways to lead, but she led by, hey, put your head right here and I got you, you know? And so there's no doubt she'll be great. You know, I'm, I'm excited for her and, you know, her family and, and our family too. You know, it's just one more great person coming into our world.